Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's show, we are going to install a solid state drive on the NVIDIA Jetson TX2 development kit. Let's get to work. Here's our SSD drive. It's a Samsung VNAND SSD 850 EVO. VNAND stands for vertical NAND. NAND stands for not AND, which is the name of the technology that's used to store the bits. This one holds 250 gigabytes. GBs, you know we love our GBs. Let's see, what else? A new caliber of performance and endurance. Maximize your computing experience with optimized performance and enhanced reliability. Five year limited warranty. Let's open it up. Let's see, there's some interesting stuff here. Oh, there's our little drive. Samsung SSD. Oh, recyclable box. That's good. It's here on the back. Hmm, it's stuck on there good. Let's open that up. Let's see, warranty statement summary, don't care. What else? Installation guide. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> Useful. And a CD of some sort, which we don't use. Okay. And we have some cables to attach it to the SATA port. I'm going to get out the engineer scissors. Registered. <laughs> These things cut through a lot of stuff. Let's see. We'll try not to cut the cables. Do or do not, there is no try. We did not, that's good. I will sheathe the, the scissors. Get on there, you little dog. Okay. One side goes in the disk drive that doesn't have a disk. Looks like it's this end. And let me make sure that I have it unplugged. That would be smart. The SATA header is this header right here. Just plug it in. In some of our previous videos, you have seen us use a Samsung 850 EV Pro. I happen to have one here. There he is. So they look both amazingly alike, except this one has a red thing on it and it looks faster. So the main difference is that the warranty is twice what this warranty is, and that has to do with the type of technology that's being used. When SSDs first came out, in each little cell, you could store one bit, and that was called single level. Time passed. They came out with multi-level cells, where they stored two bits per cell. More time passed, then they stored three bits per cell. Guess what the next one is? It's not out yet, but they're working on four bits per cell. SSDs have limited program erase cycles. So that means that you can only write to any given cell so many times during its life cycle. Over time, manufacturers started putting in what they call wear leveling hardware, which basically distributes 
the program erase cycles over the entirety of the device. The basic difference between these two, the pro version and the consumer version, I'll say, though they are both consumer versions, <laughs> this is a multi-level cell. So it has two bits per cell, and this is a triple level cell. So a triple level cell doesn't have quite the life expectancy. So for life expectancy, basically the manufacturers say, if you average 20 gigabytes per day, how long does it last? Well, the answer is this one's five years plus or minus, and this one's 10 years plus or minus. So the biggest disk you can afford, and also you want to leave at least 10% of the space free on the device. So let's power up our Jetson. We'll plug it back in. the reassuring red light, and we'll hit the power button. Let's switch over to our screencast. Okay, we've booted up into the desktop. Notice that we do not see the drive as we might have hoped. Let's open up the disks. Utility. So here's the 250 GB disk. The assessment, the disk is okay. That's good to know. Volumes, 250 GBs, unknown. Format, partition. Okay. Compatible with Linux systems. Yes, we will call it Jetson SSD 250. 250 sounds fast, I like that. Format. Are you sure you want to format the volume? Yes, please, format. Authenticate. Okay. So it's formatted. So normally a little plus sign would come up here and we would be able to add a partition but apparently there's an issue. So we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way. Let's see what we can do here. Let's open up a terminal. Drag it up here so it can remember where terminals are. Let's do this. Pseudo parted. Slash dev slash SDA is where the device is mounted. GPT here is a partition type, the modern one, they tell me. Everything that we've ever lived for is going to be over. Do you want to continue? Sure. There's the plus sign. It showed up. Hooray. Okay. Let's format it now. Oops, let's hit plus. Compatible with Linux systems, partition size, everything. Name, Jetson SSD-250. It still sounds fast, I like it. Create. Okay, partition one, Jetson SSD-250. Let's open it up here. Sure enough. Let's take a look at the properties. Oh, 233.4 GB is free. It's a good day.